a family trying to prevent others from feeling their loss. Jassity Strong was a victim in last month's mass shooting at 57th and Prospect in Kansas City. Tonight, KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson gave the mic to her family, all to hear about their hopes of amending conceal and carry rules through Jassity's law. If you drive past 57th and Prospect, you'll see names in chalk marking the sidewalk and fence like Jassity. She called me Mama Auntie Twin. Jassity Strong. She was celebrating her birthday. And on that night one month ago, Jazz did what they would expect. She FaceTimed me and I answered and hold on, you don't know how happy I am I answered because I wouldn't have, get to, I wouldn't have had got to talk to her. She um said, Mama, where your shot at? But Tamika Jenkins never expected what the next one would be. They said Jazz is dead, and we was like, you lying. They realized she was caught in the crossfire of a mass shooting on 57th and Prospect. There's never any action behind those thoughts and prayers. My Bible says faith without works is dead. Which is why they took their pain to Missouri State Representative Richard Brown. What we're doing right now is not working. We've got to do something. And the people of Missouri, they're sick and tired of being sick and tired. And so if the legislature will not act, we need to let the people use their power. They're petitioning for Jassity's law that would amend conceal and carry laws at public events. Representative Brown says there's gun legislation he's been fighting for for years. Many of the legislators in Jefferson City, they will not budge to change these gun laws, no matter how many people Die. With a petition inching closer to 500 signatures. Jassity's law should be passed. Jassity's family says what didn't work in the past doesn't stop them now. Our legislatures don't like the words gun control. The word control makes them feel like they don't have any power. Mm -hmm. And so we want to change the vernacular to gun responsibility. In Kansas City, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.